Whoever affirms the Rububiyyah, meaning Lordship of Allah the Most High, and believes that Allah is the only Rabb, meaning Lord, with no partner in His Lordship, it is necessary to affirm His Uluhiyyah, singling Him out alone in worship outwardly and inwardly, while negating it from anything other than Him. This is because it is not appropriate to worship anyone except the Rabb, who is a Creator, Provider, Owner and Sustainer of all things. As all of this belongs exclusively to Allah, He alone must be worshipped. Therefore, affirming the Rububiyyah does not make someone a Muslim unless they also affirm the Uluhiyyah, meaning worship, as it, also, as it includes the affirmation of Rububiyyah and it is through it that someone enters Islam. Despite the polytheist affirmation of Allah's Rububiyyah, they denied His Uluhiyyah and did not affirm it. That is why the way of the Noble Qur'an emphasized mentioning the ayat of Rububiyya alongside the ayat calling to Tawheed of Uluhiyya. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said in the meaning of the ayah, O mankind, worship your Rabb who created you and those who were before you so that you may become al-muttaqoon, meaning the pious. Tawheed of Al-Uluhiyya is the foundation of the religion and its basis. It is the ultimate purpose for which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent messengers and set down books. Paradise and hellfire were created for this purpose. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said in the meaning of the ayah, And verily we have sent among every ummah a messenger, Worship Allah and avoid ta'ahut. Then of them was some whom Allah guided, and of them who was some upon whom the strain was justified. So travel through the land and see what was the end of those who denied. Tawheed al uluhiyya necessitates dedicating the whole religion to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alone, loving Him with great veneration, worship and submission, completely relying on Him, continuously turning to Him, supplicating to Him, and fearing and hoping in Him. It also requires that we vow and sacrifice only for him and with that all acts of worship, whether of the heart or body, should be devoted sincerely to Allah without associating partners with him. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said in the meaning of the ayah, Say verily, my salat, my sacrifice, my living and my dying are for Allah, the Rabb of the Alameen.